I'm just going to be looking at the best assists. So you probably already know they're going to be event characters. But I'm not just going to look at them because not everyone can let, get them. I'm going to be talking about, like, not event characters too. So should I start off with the ones that aren't event characters? Then I'll get into that. Yeah, you can skip through if you don't care about that. But yeah, these two are the best you can get from raids. They're Garo and Kirito. But you can't get Garo anymore. But he'll be back in about a month or something when all the raid characters return. So yeah. But if you're not bothered to wait all that time, just get this one. Before I continue, I just want to say this is when they're awakened. When they're not awakened, the assists don't really matter that much. But when you awaken them, they matter a lot. So now that I've got that out of the way, I'm going to be talking about the actual best assist now with the event characters. It's good. The assist does 48 million damage. With Sid, it does 460 million. Like what and with Dio 31 million and Madoka does 48 million they all do the same boost thing but Sid's assist just does way more damage and if you don't know who Sid is this is it but who's the other assist you should use so this is the best assist in the game I'm not sure what exact number is probably around like 35 attack I think but yeah that's 35 attack and 25 boss damage I think for the other ones so you should use Sid and Kirby but if you're doing a raid where like you just have the characters for the boosts just use them like in the Titan raid just use Levi and Kirby or in the Warlord raid just use Warlord and Guts but just use if you're using Guts just use like Warlord main for that raid and then Guts and Kermi assists. And then you reset character when you're on Warlord to just play as Guts. But yeah, that's it. And I'm not going to say just another random completely unrelated thing after saying that's it. Because it's actually it this time.